Okay, so this is this is the carbon breath carbon monoxide training. All right, this is a lot easier. Um, to begin, uh, there's the machine, and then there's the adapter. Do not throw this adapter out when you finish using it because it's a very expensive piece that we change monthly. All right, and the last piece is the mouthpiece. This is the part that you want to give a new one to it for every patient. Okay. The power button is on top to turn it on. Now. The reason why we did the breath carbon monoxide test is because uh, we're trying to look for carbon monoxide levels um, because smoking there's a lot of carbon monoxide when 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 intake when when they smoke and the reason why we look for carbon monoxide also is because uh, carbon monoxide competes with oxygen to bind with to hemoglobin. Uh, with a decreased oxygen level can alter uh, the fetal development okay um, all right so once you get started the main menu will be will look like this all right there's a guy here over and we're gonna call Bob and that's pretty much the only thing you need to focus on um, the other two are just setting and and I don't even know what that is but just focus on Bob now for patients that's been here before you don't really need to expend, uh, explain to them what to do they would know what to do um, just ask them if they're ready if they're ready just press Bob okay now if it's a new patient a patient that never did it you will have to explain to them of how to do it so what they're doing is, once they're ready, you're going to press bop, and they're going to take a, a deep breath, okay? And then they're going to hold it for 15 seconds. Um, at the end of the 15 seconds, there's going to be a long beep, um, and that's when they're going to blow into the tube. Now, uh, how hard should they blow? Um, don't, they don't have to use their full strength to blow. But you don't want to blow too softly where they're trying to, you know, blow a feather or something. Just enough. Uh, like, I would say naturally blow, blowing a, a birthday candle or something. Just one, not 50. Okay? Alright, so, once the patient is ready, you press... Bob and there's gonna be a countdown. All right, I'm gonna be doing this myself to show you the numbers afterwards. All right, so I'm ready. I'm gonna take a deep breath. I'm gonna press this and I'm gonna take a deep breath and hold it for 15 seconds. Okay, um, so how long should they breathe out? Um, just one, one expiration period. So make sure they don't breathe like, take two, three breaths when they breathe out. Um, and tell them just do it as long as they can, all right? It doesn't have to be uh, 15 seconds long. Of, I mean, yeah, but a good five, six seconds will be, will be, will be adequate. Alright, so once once the machine stops analyzing the carbon monoxide level, there's gonna be icons pop.
popping up on the bottom that's when you know it's done analyzing okay so there's a couple of numbers there's a two which is the concentration of carbon monoxide the one is the percent of carbon monoxide bound to the adult so the mother's hemoglobin and right under that number there's a kind of a baby press that and it'll show you the amount of the percent of fetal hemo uh, uh, percent of carbon monoxide bound to he fetal hemoglobin okay now this the concentration is what we focus on okay ideally for a non-smoker or for a person that did not smoke uh, it should be under seven okay no one ever gets a zero most people gets between a one and a three because there's carbon monoxide in our air uh, there's carbon monoxide in pollution okay so um, and carbon monoxide is pretty common uh, if there's a gas leak uh, in your house there might be carbon monoxide level uh, that's why people have carbon monoxide detectors in, in the house uh, so it's pretty common um, but not common enough to go above a seven okay anything above a seven that means they smoked now and that that level varies for carbon monoxide we we can't tell how much they smoked we could only tell when they they smoked so anywhere above a seven probably around in the teens they that means they probably smoked within probably an, an hour ago um, anything higher means they probably smoke even before then uh, for a person that smoked five minutes ago the level could be as high as 30 something to 40 something so so yeah okay now yeah. uh, there's a sheet uh, uh, kind of like a data sheet um, where you want to record the results so make sure you fill this out fill the participant patient uh, the, the patient ID in just the ID not the name okay remember that and research assistant name which is you yourself the date and time performed and then you could just write the concentration the percent adult hemoglobin level and the percent fetal hemoglobin level okay and then what you want to do is uh, there's an iPad in every single room after each each reading you want to take a picture okay um, make sure it's angled actually I'm going to do an example one real quick Okay, you want to aim, make sure that you get that, and then switch the screen, and then, alright, and you're going to repeat this three times, alright, everything we do in this lab is three times except the urine, we don't ask the patient to repeat three times. Okay, so, um, so yeah, three times, and at the end of the of the uh, of this, you should have six pictures, one for each screen, and with that, we conclude the carbon monoxide cleaning. I mean, training. Uh, after you're done, just throw every throw the mouthpiece out, and put the the adapter um, into a Ziploc bag that's in the carbon monoxide detector bag okay and then that's it